Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2, I'm your host, Mr. Michael Lover. And right now, we're actually at war. We're in a little conflict with the neighbor to the north. Why? Well, I guess technically we do want to get Alaska, but more importantly, here's my reasoning why. Canada is independent. They're absolutely 100% independent. And I said, you know what, if they're independent, and they're not allied with like the UK, they're not allied or a satellite of the UK or anybody else, then you know what, how about we go to... You know, have a little kerfuffle with them and uh, get them as a puppet. Now, we're not going to annex them just because we only have so much infamy and we're still trying to cut down a lot of infamy at all the time. But, like, if we get them as a puppet, basically they're with us anyways. And then we can continue beating up some Mexicans because we love doing that. As well as, I'm thinking maybe even starting to puppet like Colombia, Venezuela, and pretty much anyone that's not allied to us. So, I'm thinking we might want to puppet these guys eventually later on. Wow. Uh, Uruguay is not looking too good down there. They're probably going to rebel. But anyone in South America that's not our ally, we can probably puppet as well. So that's kind of my reasoning right now. So let's have a good old time with Canada. Also, at the time of this recording, um, th the last episode before this one wasn't out like day after day after day. Like episode five took a while to you know, publish out. That's because I think it's a YouTube problem. For some reason, sometimes YouTube just does not want... Or does not let you upload, or like it was extremely slow of uploading. I don't know why. I'm actually a little disappointed that it was so slow. So I do apologize. Like, it's like ridiculously slow. The, the time of, this, of me recording this episode. So I do apologize about that. It just there's nothing I can literally do about it. So uh, maybe we want to help them out. Oh, something in Macedonia. Oh, they actually have mobilized quite a big army. Oh, what was that? Oh, Canada. Minus 53,000. 54,000. I think that's delightful. Oh crap, now that's not good. Now they're sending even more guys in, even though I, this is kind of a last minute thing that we were going to do. But head on in guys, head on in, please, please, please. We don't want to lose those soldiers. And, nonsense, interventionism, sure. Oh, and we apparently have campaign going on in 1907. Uh, well, we're still the Whig, so let's actually go to the reactionary party again. Why not? Hey, we bolstered their numbers, and they're bolstering their numbers as well. Oh, they're attacking us here too. Oh, this is not good. If that's the case, we're going to send you guys down here. You might be able to get in there in time. You actually might not really... Well, we killed those guys off too. Go figure. We're killing off these Canadians. Um, can you guys get up here quickly enough? You might be able to if you want to do about that. Please go right ahead. Come to France, huh? Man, they're really trying to stop us from getting into this this battle here. It's looking really bad for us. Alright, not bad. Get in, get in. Come on. Hey, we got in. That army over there we had over here is just really devastated at this point. Uh, let's see if we want to that. Please go ahead. So, yes, we're good. Okay, so what's going on in the crisis? So, Germany wants Pindus. What the heck is Pindus? Acquire Elsa Lorraine. Wow. Um, I want to see how many... Oh! They have gas attack. Oh! We don't have gas defense. But we have gas attack, too. But even then, on defense. Wow. We lost a lot of guys. If you are, like to read about the black shirts, please go right ahead. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, let me read about them. I don't think I've read this one yet. The emerging fascist party in one of our states has formed a paramilitary corps, organized with a military command chain, ideologically coherent, and ready to do the bidding of the fascist party leaders. The group is colloquially referred to as the Black Shirts from the iconic militaristic shirts that they have taken to wearing. This trend is new to Confederate politics, and some might fear that it might lead to a chain reaction with other parties forming military organizations of their own. Leave them be, and hope they don't gain too much ground. Because I don't want to lower our uh, other stuff too much. Hey, we can get some subs. Oh, that's different. That's quite different. Okay, so we lost about 50,000. We killed off 90,000, though. So, not great, not bad. We, Our armies were hit pretty darn badly. These guys are going to head to Thunder Bay. That sounds uh, awesome. I guess which one? this one's Thunder Bay, huh? Actually, Thunder Bay sounds amazing. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Thunder Bay. All right, so what's the score? What, what score do we need for these guys? So, we're currently at 34. Not bad. So, they can become a puppet of us. While well, Europe does their other stuff, we don't really care what Europe does at the moment. Um, head up to Brandon. That would be very, very good. Very, very good. And let us just kind of continue sieging them down. We can do stuff against them, but we still want to go to war with America, which we'll do later on, probably in about the next year or so. And we cut off 6,000 more of them. Not bad. Immigrant deported. Uh, don't want to lose any more plurality for now. Uh, let's see. We just got some more tiles done. Great. They're invading our other parts of the country, which is not great. But hey, it is what it is, right? We need more infantry. Which we do have. Thank you. There you go. You guys meet up in South Bend. 
Cool. And you guys are done. Let's go to Ottawa. Burn the capital down. Why not? You mean a burning capital. Oh, slaves and marks. Well, we can get this one. That's fine. Hey, good job, guys. You guys really need a repair. Wow, that's really bad. Uh, you might be able to do well by yourself. They don't have a lot of organization. I mean, neither do we, but we actually have planes. The first Indianapolis Airborne. Or airplane, I guess. Not airborne. That'd be cool if they were the airborne, though. All right, bragging rest, more plurality. Thank you very much. And let's keep sieging them down. This is very mountainous. It's probably not worth a whole lot of score, but you know what? It is what it is. And we're here, and we're ready to kill them off. Nice. And we took Ottawa. Now, what's the score like for us? 47? Not bad. They are socialists, so what do you expect? Um, if we combine these guys here, you actually might be able to take them out. There you go. It's a lot of guys. And another army goes bye-bye. And actually having Canada here too will give us another ally to beat up America every single time. So that's actually really nice. You guys are headed to Toronto. No, no, no. Not today. Um, I'd recommend you guys going there maybe. Yeah, you should be able to do that one. You guys are doing fine. Oh, wow. Bulgaria goes bankrupt. Well, Bulgarians are doing what Bulgarians do, I guess. Spending a lot of money. And we almost have an integral rail system. These guys are not looking very good. Kingston. Follow them up. And we got some rails. Great. Let's grab some bolt action rifles. No, let's get some more defense. More more digging cap. Yes, please. And you guys know. Alrighty. And we keep marching northward. Yeah. Look at America. They got quite a few small little armies here. Oh, yeah. They're definitely doing stuff. Huh. Oh, oh. What are you guys doing over Eureka? You could probably make more armies. Let's take a look here. What are we making? Anything in North America? Regulars? Africa? We can make more stuff in Africa. Let's get an African plane. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And let's grab an African engineer because we can. All right. So what do we have here? We got one infantry. We have the second infantry on to the left. So that's two infantry. What else do we need? Two infantry plus what? Uh, three infantry. Four infantry. Five. Six. Seven, eight. We're making a, a sixty thousand sack, so we're gonna need two planes. We're not. We don't believe in horses anymore. Horses are cool and all, but still. And then we're gonna grab Mexicans. No, we love the Mexicans. Uh, Native Americans, Yankees. Oh, eh, we'll, let's get some guys from Dash. We're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Engineer times two. And that should be good enough. We'll see what happens, but that's alright. Cool. And we're, still, wait, we're actually making a lot of money. Our tariffs are only 20% too, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. So I can lower by 5 more percent, maybe? Oh, hello. That's not bad. Very good. And the decline of the West in the Lost Generation. Probably. I've never read through this stuff, but if you like reading, please go ahead. Alright, not bad. And where's the next army done? Yes, you all right there. Sympathy strike. I don't want to lose any plurality, please, for now. Because uh, we already lose more than enough. More than enough. All is well. No worries. Fake news abounds. But we would never lie to you or tell you bad little stories that, you know, change your opinion of things. Sounds like we, we got another ship out. Jolly good. Toronto, please burn. Uh, Montreal. And actually, you guys are looking just so all incredibly weak. Um, I'll send you over there. You'll be fine doing that. No, we have navy over there, too. A little more reactionary support in the house. Look at that. I don't remember asking for about that, but okay. Hey, look, defensive alt attitude. Nice. We need to increase our ship speed or ship creation just because... Oh, we're only 40% score. Huh, that's not good. Well, it seems like all the other major powers are trying to kill each other off, so that's fine with us. Whatever. Um, we'll have to kill off more of the armies, but let's continue sieging everyone else down. Uh, the Oh, Brazil's here. Look at that. Nice. We do have a few battleships here, too, so that's actually pretty good. Let's go over here. Uh, what was I trying to say? We need a, a massive navy, because we got to beat up the Brits. That's the next major thing. Next na major endeavor that we need here. Oh, you guys want to go in there, probably. Panama Canal Dividends. Thank you very much. First tractor and Flagstaff. Every time you say Flagstaff, I think of Kaiser's Legion in Arizona. All right, so they... Oh, it became a great war. Um, that'd be nice. I'd like to, but... Would you still like an alliance? Yeah, I'll still like an alliance. I mean, we can still intervene on their side, which would be fine with us. We actually might do that, but we'll see. Let's 
We need definitely get gas defense. Uh, you guys are doing okay. Go right there for now. And you guys head on over here. Actually, you guys just stay it. Hang out. Hey, tax efficiency. The gold standard is very nice. Let's come into here. And uh, you guys go straight up in there, too. Actually, do you have a good uh, leader? Yeah, that's a good leader. That's not too bad. And down here, looking not too shabby, either. Oh, the uh, Portuguese are here, too. Nice. Alright, so are we gassing? No, they're gassing us, too. But whatever. Oh, we're fighting the rebels, too. God dang it. That kind of sucks. And they're going to Dryden? Where's Dryden? There it is. There you go. You know what to do. You guys go there. Not bad. America's having a few rebellion problems. A few rebellious issues. But that does not concern us. Good. I don't know if you'll be able to win this one, but we'll see. Well, we just killed off a few thousand of them every single day, just like us, so... 3,000, 4,000, there... Oh, because of a recon, we get a minus digging cap. Or no, they have digging, cause that, so that hurts us, actually. And they have gas defense, but they got a really bad thing. He's good on tech and defense, as we are too, but he's a little better. There you go. Oh, you tax us in, okay. There you go, Confederate Red Star, there you go. Well, alright. Hey, there we go! Gas defense capability, so they can't gas us anymore. Yeah, I don't like getting gas. I don't know about you guys, but I personally don't like getting gas. I like gassing other people. And actually, we do that now. Looking at any other war goals, pay reparations. Nope, there we go. Beautiful. And let's begin. Yep, we're already influencing them. Nice. Uh, we could probably throw, go into here, too. You know what? We could probably do that. Give us one more month, though. I want to make sure our, our soldiers are okay, because some of these guys are just really beaten up. Really incredibly badly. So, like, these guys over here, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Coming to Lexington. Um, do we have any armies up here? Oh, yeah, we did have one army up here, too. Forgot about that. Detroit? Look how bad that army is. Oh, my goodness. You guys head on down to Fort Wayne, which I've been to once, maybe. <laughs> maybe once. And I think there's, yep, one more guy up here, too. Fort Wayne, Indianapolis. All right, not bad. And center ships home, because so they, they can repair. Because right now, we're trying to build up massive naval bases. Just the biggest ones that the northern continent has ever seen here. I'm building up more soldiers, I guess. We're building up a lot of naval bases. Look at that. Nice. Cool. Not bad. So, I think we do want to go to North America next. I do want to cut down the infamy a little bit, just because it's just so much. Anarcho-liberals. Well, I think we've got enough armies probably working on them anyway already. Joining the war would be nice. We won't get a lot, that much war score participation, but... Oh, the first minister appointed. Okay, so research points goes down. We go more factory owner... Way better factory owner's cost and RGO throughput. Dismantle uh, thingies. Acquire Britagna. Brittany will be freed. Pindus. I don't know where Pindus is. A great war capitulation while they want Elsa Serene. Well... I don't think they're going to do very well. And hopping on the bandwagon probably sounds like a good idea. So... As much as I want to lower infamy, here we go. Yep, we're getting involved in the Great War. All right, I'm not sure what we can really do here. Let's send our ships over, though. Maybe how, how are our ships doing? Are they doing okay? Got some cruisers too. I made some screens just in case. Let's at least send some guys over here. We're going to be doing our part too. I'm glad we're not attacking though. That's not good. And we're max out spending, so I'm not super worried about this. But these guys are looking really bad, man. Are you guys here? Just going to combine you guys. That's fine. I mean, if you want to do this, that's fine with me, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, we're going to that. Please go ahead. There we go. We're doing our part. I don't want to fight the Russians, but whatever it is, what it is. Because when you fight these guys, I think I'm going to extend the end date of this campaign, too. All right. I love consciousness. Why is that? Just because of infamy or southern hospitality as well? Oh, how much? Man, these guys are really dying. People are still coming here. 11,000 every day or month. Jesus. That's so nice. 9,000, 8,000. We get more than America, so... I'm feeling pretty good about it. Actually, I think we have Greenland here, too. Yeah, we have Greenland. And they're our ally. Don't ask me how or why. I don't know, but... And Newfoundland as well. Huh. Look at Germany, Yugoslavia, of course. Not too bad. Not too bad. And there's not too many more hostile occupations, so... Oh, Benin's down here. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, 
Oh, we don't have control down here. Oh, sucks. Santiago de Cuba. Oh, they actually showed up. Look at that. Oh, huh. I was not expecting that at all. Well, we know what to do with these guys then. Send you back home. And we'll deal with them appropriately. And the Confederate Communists down in Central America. Ah, Central America and Communism. Fascist Trade Unions. The fascists in one of our states have organized an anti-socialist trade union dedicated to promoting what it calls the organic relationship between labor and capital under a more general corporatist act umbrella. The union is directly subordinate to the fascist party and has reportedly already been able to scrounge up quite an impressive membership list. We can attempt to suppress this organization, but that risks driving workers to the socialist trade unions instead. Because leave them be. Let's just leave them be. They'll be fine. Because I don't want to drive them towards uh, socialists. What's better, socialists or fascists? <laughs> leave your comment below. <laughs> oh boy. There you go, combine them. I don't care. Because that's not good. But if they attack us over here, they're not going to be able to win. No matter what they have. And actually, we can maybe take some stuff off of that. It is a great war, so it is quite a bit cheaper cost. Um, can we get French Guiana? Well, we're not really doing too much here, so. We'll just join the bandwagon because we can. And infiltration's almost done. We'll do bolt action rifles next. Bolt action rifle armament. More attack, yes, please. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. Wow. That's not good. Alright, so you guys are back here. That's good. Let's send you guys over here. Where is that? That's alright. We're going to be sending our guys down here. It'll be alright. Okay, we're really losing down here. That's not good. How did we lose that? Hold on. Blood and Roses. Uh, we were in it to win it. It's fine. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but that's that's OP. On defense, we lost that? Yeah, no. Well, we lost the capital for now. It's fine. A little money may help. Illegal issues. So it is what it is. My bad. This army should do... Okay. I'm not sure where they go going, but let's go here then. And we'll reinforce that position down here, too. Cool. Anywhere else? I don't think that's pretty much the only place that we ever lost anything. You guys, come on in the war. Good. Anything French, you find, you kill. Spain is fascist Spain now? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is my problem with Vicky 2, just period. Like, there's just so many rebels eventually that spawn up, and you can't really deal with too many of them. So, in the meantime, let's build a lot of armies here in... Estimated cost? That's a lot of cost. Uh, America? Estimated cost of goods in our stockpile. 6,800 pounds. We have 400,000, so I'm not really understanding why they, we can't build that, but okay. Let's go with 20. And we'll go with 1, 2, 3. And then we'll go with uh, uh, a 1, 2, 3. And then we'll go with uh, Asia? No. I bet a lot of these guys. There you go. Oh, we get more attack. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Tensions dissipate. Lose plurality? No, thank you. Do not interfere in local work conditions. Oh! What happened? How unfortunate? Huh. Humiliated against Empire of Japan. Well, what happened? Okay, cool. Brittany, three times world capitulation. Hey, we didn't do too much and we got our capital taken over, but whatever. It is what it is. That was actually really stupid. Like, on defense. In Hills territory. I don't understand how they beat us up that fast. I really have no idea. That made no sense to me. Yeah, we had a smaller army, but... On defense? When we're entrenched? I'm sorry, man, but that doesn't make any sense. But who am I? I'm just a guy who tries to play the game online. Or showing you guys. Whatever. Cool. One. Is that it? That kind of sucks. Uh, I guess do it anyways. You know what? Just stay there. You might need to stay there, just in case. Down here. Uh, center battleship's back up here. We got a lot of problems up here. Alright. Do not interfere with local businesses for the most part. Oh, does that mean we can't go... Ooh, does that mean we can't go to war then? Maybe that was a bad mistake by me. That might have been a really bad mistake by me. Yeah, maybe... Well, yeah, we gotta justify anyway, so. Acquire state? Well, we could. Acquire sub-state... We'll probably go ahead and acquire a state, because we want to keep beating them up. But when's the next time we go to war with Mexico? Because we still need to take Mexican territories as well. Uh, increase relations too, because we can't. And actually, Spain. Spain, 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 Spain. 
Cool. Thank you. They're fascists and Mexico. They're the British sphere. So we have a truth with them until 1908. So that's good to keep in mind. We'll kill off all these guys up here as well. We need at least one more artillery piece under that group. Um, we'll wait till that they're all done yet first. And let's go ahead and start doing this acquired state from the good old US of A. All right, everyone. So now we're at war with America. And now for this war, we're specifically fighting for Ohio, which actually really, 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 really should have a good industrial score if we take it. Now, they have a... America has a tremendous industrial score. They're fourth in the world, but if we move in fast enough, they won't be able to mobilize everybody, even though I'm kind of neglecting this side of the country, but hey, this is the most important side, I would say, right now. So here we go. We already are in most of, well, Pennsylvania, Ohio, all that good, those good places. As we're trying to make a bigger army, Spain decided not to come to the war, but we'll see what they say once we call them back in. Well, there we go. They woke up now. Which is weird that they didn't accept earlier, but we're also at war with Ecuador, but... I'll be honest, I'm not really concerned about Ecuador, so yeah. Um, we've been attacking Cleveland. Alright, cool, they're starting to mobilize them now. They decided to... Oh, the excavations in Greece? Cool. Yeah, they'll do they'll do well wherever they're at, but... I'm a little bit more concerned for our side right now. Let's see, eight? Uh, Alright, let's, let's move over this little artillery piece, too. Very good. This one's almost done. We need at least one more plane. And that's pretty much it. Oh, hello. The Dutch want an alliance, huh? Are we still allied to Germany? Uh-oh. We're not. And the Dutch are a great power. That is unusual. But okay, I guess that Germany said no to... Oh, hello. Well, America's having some socialist problems right now, which is okay with us. Totally okay with us. We did win there. We call up 31,000 for... Well, actually, we lost 31,000. That's not good. Kingston. Wait, why are we up there? What the heck? I don't remember putting our guys up there. Oh, I remember I put these guys up here just because I was trying to help take out rebels. That's why. Ah. I see. Yeah, It's kind of my fault for forgetting that they existed up there, but that's all right. Let's move on over. Anything else around here? No, not yet. You guys are doing great. Head on down here. You know, just help them out here first. There you go. And head on to Williamsport. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. A, we're almost done with their capital as well. Very nice. Awesome, awesome. Goodland lost control. Oh, well, whatever it is. I don't, just, I don't care. It's probably not good to have that, actually, but... Why do we keep getting this against Japan? I don't, I don't understand. Why, why? Is Japan super important right now? Or are they doing? Are they insulting us like an EU4? So, I'm not exactly sure, but... Oh, well. We cut off 39,000 of them there. Pretty darn nice. Pretty bueno. And we cut off 86. That must have been... That must have really sucked for those last 86 guys. I'll be honest. That must have really sucked for those guys. Like, yeah, we're, we're basically going to die here. All right. And let's do... Wow, we got a lot of consciousness. That is not ideal. But, wow, there's a lot of guys right there, too. <clears throat> That's all right. Let them attack us some places. That's all right. Uh, I definitely do not want to attack. Unless we definitely have a new... Well, we won that battle. We get another national focus, which is pretty good. Industry would not be bad to invest in. We could do a lot of this stuff, which I do want to do. We, do, we need to do more... Yeah, really, we need more, do more stuff here. Let's get some more organization. It's less than 3,400 cost, so I'm kind of okay with that. You guys move up to here. That'd be fine. They're attacking us here as well. You're not too far along the line there. And we just got off 7,000 people in a single day. Wow, we're killing a lot of them off. This is why I don't want to attack on the front, or just attack, period. Uh, what's the bureaucracy like around these areas? Because I know I'm neglecting some places. I'm trying to get more bureaucrats here really sucks. Then again, we're not investing a whole lot of money into them. But I guess it makes sense, but still. Hawaii? Oh, hello. Um, there you go. And, uh, there you go. We got a lot of different cultures around here. A lot of Polynesians and some Caribino, so... There you go. What's the score like for us right now? Actually, that's a good question to ask. Eh, 43% is not too bad. What about America? Because right now, the war score percentage is 73 that we'll need. Uh... Oh, we can dismantle the nation! That'd be kind of cool, but now we're okay for now. So we have 73. We can do at most 27. Nevada is too much. Uh, New, uh, New England is too much. Massachusetts is definitely too much. New York, very too much. Oh, uh, you saw that one. New Jersey, way too much. Ohio, which we're trying to do, 42. And Colorado is 45. I thought one of these was cheaper than that. 42. Man, that really sucks. All right, so we can only make, take one state, 73. If we take reparations, that's another 25. The, they have a big enough stuff. So we just want that and reparations. That's all right. It'll be fine. Not super worried about it, but we're actually going to send you guys, combine you guys together. 
and go to the Goodland. There you go. Oh, uh, or you might want to come here first. That might be better. There you go. And you're almost down here too. Great. Newark. Oh boy. Hey, we won that battle over there, wherever that was. Very cool. Very good. Oh, why did you go down there? What the heck, guys? Oh, we're winning on the offense, I guess, technically, but still. Um, attacking is probably a really bad idea, so I guess we'll do it completely. Oh, the fascist newspaper. A fascist newspaper has begun circulating in one of our states. The uh, paper, the Confederate Dawn, carries fiery denunciations of everything between heaven and earth, including, but not certainly, limited to two. Commies, socialists, liberals, conservatives, foreigners, minorities, women, homosexuals, capitalists, deviants, and criminals. Wow, that's a lot of groups. Well, the paper carries a fair amount of vitriol, it does still manage to capitalize fairly well on several of the attitudes that are prevalent among fairly broad strata of our society. Whatever that says about Confederate society. Mm, I believe we'll see it primarily read by the middle class. Sure, why not? Let's get this one done quickly. If not, then we'll come down to... Well, somewhere here. There you go. Nope. We'll head down there first. Oh, we actually won. Not bad. There's a lot of guys over here. Oh, and they're attacking us right here, too. Ooh, we're actually not winning there. We lost 20,000 for 28,000. Eh, that's not too bad, actually. Especially since we're on offense. That's not too bad. Oh, they're definitely attacking down there, which is not too bad. Let's keep attacking their little stacks here. That'll be fine with us. Nice. Columbus is ours. And he's gonna die here. Oh, and... Okay. Great. And now we're the most prestigious nation in the world. And Ohio, like I said earlier, is our most valuable industrial state. Because every state we take from America will end up influencing our level of industry. Because they're really good at building industrial stuff. That's why New England is very, very strong. So that's Martin Newton State. We're the first prestigious uh, power in the world. And now we're third in the world in terms of great powers. But we got to start focusing more and more on the British Commonwealth. Now, I'm going to leave most of these armies not here, actually, because it's 1910. we got to beat up Mexico some more. But after this war with Mexico, we will immediately, well, maybe not immediately, but very quickly go to war with the UK. And we'll call in our allies, all of our allies, because the most important thing is to make sure our Navy is prepared to fight. Because our ships aren't too bad. We actually have 14 cavalry ships, including battleships and ironclads, which ironclads are okay. We got quite a few screens. We got quite a few transports. So for naval combat, from what I remember about uh, Vicky 2, your screens, your transports will get hit pretty hard, which I'm actually kind of okay with. It doesn't really matter to me too much. So uh, they'll take a lot of hits. As long as the cap ships don't die, I'm okay. So it's looking a little better. Actually, that's not bad. I like these straight borders here. That's really nice. But I think we should really focus on taking these states next time. My goal is at least get all of America done with us. So, they have embraced the ideal of freedom. Okay. Well, good luck with that, America. And I have a feeling we're about to embrace a lot of uh, rebels. Just saying. Just saying. I'll head on down to D.C. Just keep that area under control for now, because you never know what might happen in D.C. And can we build any more guys up here? No, we cannot. They're demobilizing, which will we beat them up pretty nicely, actually. And let's do this, and then we need some more divisions. Thank you very much. The Central American Guard. Cool. All right, so what are we missing here? A lot of dudes. Do we have anyone in production right now? Yes and no, but yes. All right, so you guys are all six infantry, which means you need two more infantry. I go uno, and sometimes they say dos. Uh, do we want to use those guys? Here, use a Yankee. There you go, bloody Yanks. And I'll get two planes. One, two, and now we get to build up a whole thing of one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. And now we'll grab two engineers so we can uproot things very, 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 very quickly. Cool. And that army will be ready to go. And with all this... Oh, we got better naval organization. Like I said, we're really going to have to focus here much more intently on uh, naval stuff. Because when the British start knocking, it's not going to be very good for us. Even more naval organization, just max it out, everybody. Max it, max it, max it, max it. You guys need what left? Oh, Ching China? Sure, why not? Uh, you just need another airplane. So, actually, make another airplane then. Airplanes are very strong, actually, so I like them a lot. Oh, we can build more African nations or units. That's really cool. So, currently, we have nobody down here. Because I think they were defeated when, uh... Well, we were fighting the French at one point, so... One, two, three, four, five. And now we'll go with one, two, three. That's all we can afford for now, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm not too worried about that. Just make sure our military score is very, very high. 
Oh, look at this. More attack. Bolt action rifle armaments. Bolt action rifles are really nice. Usually. Not always, but usually. And, hey, we can use stormtroopers. I, you know, I kind of want to try them out. I'm a little uncoordinated and a little lazy to actually use them. Just because I like throwing all sorts of divisions in at one time, but... Hmm, maybe we'll use them sometime. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. It takes so long to get more bureaucrats. I mean, I know I could spend more money down here, but we're already at 100% anyway, so... I guess we could spend a little bit more. Just, there you go. 69, nice. Segregation? The locals have some sort of right idea. And by the end of this episode, I do want to show you the culture map mode. Because that's one of my absolute favorite things about this mod. Or just Vicky 2 in general. Just culture. Learning about culture. The obs oh, look at this. The obsolescence of slavery. With the dawn of the 20th century, slavery in modern countries is fading away to the prevalence of industry. A mere 30 years ago, Confederate strength may have been founded on the backs of our slaves, but as tractors, automobiles, trains, and other machines are making industry replace old mass labor, we have to make a distinct choice. Do we organize our slave economy, favoring it over industrial strength, or do we join the onward march of progress and free yourselves from the shackles that a slave society has forced us into? Just as 50 years ago, a great house was divided, so now our Confederate states must become all one thing or all the other, strong in the grip of slavery or strong in the freedom of progress. The time of mass labor and enslavement has ended. Huh. I didn't know this actually comes apart here. We change our national value to liberty. Maybe we lose six infamy. All pops lose a lot more stuff. The institution of slavery shall prevail over industry. Hmm. I don't know. I still want to keep doing the golden circle, but we don't even have to have slavery for this, so. Hmm. Oh, the Belize. Oh, we can actually buy Belize. Oh, okay. So if we have better relations, we can just buy it from them. So that would actually be very, very good for us to do. Oh, I don't know. The obsolescence of slavery? I love the flag. It's, the flag is so nice. You know what? Maybe we'll get rid of it. Hmm. Agricultural slaves are 9.4%. 0.07% 0 .07 are industrial slaves. Hmm. That's interesting. That is quite interesting. Um... I'm kind of okay with getting rid of it, I'll be honest. There's really no point to keep it, and it's just a, such a huge hindrance. So, I guess you could say the obsolescence of slavery. So, I guess, maybe to, to the disappointment of some, and to the en enjoyment and enlightenment of others, I guess we can get rid of slavery for now. I mean, it's, we're literally just here to phase it out. Like, we don't, if we keep it, that's great and all. But, like, really, we just wanted to phase it out till it was no longer feasible. So, I guess we'll go with this one. Why not? I'm sure I'll play as a CSA some other day again. And I'll probably actually get rid of slavery much easy, much beforehand, but still. Uh, we should see quite an uptick in uh, stuff here, too. So, I mean, we didn't have to fight a war over it, which is great. I didn't want to become Liberty, though. Actually, let's see if we can change this. I want to go back to whatever we had. Actually, yeah, Liberal Party's not too good. Socialist uh, elections. Uh, rebel funding release vast. So extend the Golden Circle. Organize Nigeria. Extend the Golden Circle. Release Vassal. Um, I don't see it here. We can't change our national value. Okay, that's gone now. Foreign cuisine, pasta. Well, this is still going up, though. We have infamy, of course. Southern hospitality, national confusion. Which makes sense, I guess. Which sucks, but whatever. Now, so Mexico shouldn't be too much of a pushover, but it shouldn't be really that bad either. We need a lot more infantry here. Holy crap, we need more infantry. Oh, and Mexico shouldn't be that strong because it looks like they're having issues here, too. They're in the UK sphere, but I don't really... Wait, Mexico. That's a 100 score. Wait, what is Mexico from Mexico? Wait, is that, like, Mexico City? I guess it is Mexico City. That'd be really cool to take. There's a lot of fascists in Mexico. Oh, we do have cores on Yucatan. Actually, if we can take two tiles at a time, that's better than one. So, Yucatan is 51, and Chiapas is... Yeah, I'll do that one instead. I'm gonna take Yucatan. Call all of our allies in as well. Um, Everyone will accept, except Paraguay, which is fine. Actually, before we do that... Uh, Jimmy, would you like an alliance? Oh, no, we're still allied. Oh, okay. Cool. But then again, hmm, actually, hold on, before we do that, we do want to make sure that we have good relations first. You know what? Wait, the British Commonwealth, but now the Conservative Party, they were a republic, they got rid of the Queen. Hold on. Okay, so before we do anything too crazy, I guess Brittany is now a sphere of an ally of Germany, which is kind of crazy. They have French fascists here. This is definitely a Kaiserreich scenario right now. Uh, dividends? Oh, God, what are you doing? We have to be at peace anyway, so... Oh, no, no, guys, no, 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 guys, you're not strong enough. You are insane. I'm not fighting Germany. I need them with me. So, the goal is, it maybe by Belize, because if we can avoid a war with them for Belize, that would be extremely great, so we don't have to wait for the truce, which takes so long to do. Truces takes forever to do. 
Nice, we got more naval organization. Because we still want to kill off the UK anyways, don't get me wrong. I want to kill them off. How dare they kill the Queen? But... Oh, Bulgaria's not looking to... Oh, that's all they got. Jacobin rebels. Ah, I feel that pain, man. I really do. Uh, let's increase the relations one more time. Oh, we need one more time so we can increase the relations again. Black shirts, if you want to read about that, please. Go ahead. I don't want to lose plurality. You get some more militancy. If people want to become more fascist, I don't care. I really don't. Oh, the end of slavery. So, once we have made slavery the centerpiece of our country, but those times have passed, and now we will sever all of our attachments to those detestable pieces of our history. Slavery is no more for the good of our nation. We lose infamy and get more prestige. All right. It is what it is, see? Just, if you phase it out over time, people will be a little bit more accepting of it. Um, where's the UK? Or what was the UK? There we go. So now we can do the Bellies purchase. Alright, so. Uh, I don't know where it is. Where is it? Hold on, let's close out of this and reopen it. No? Here we go. We are interested in purchasing Belize from Great Britain and integrating it into the CSA. As such, we have sent delegates overseas to London and are currently waiting a reply. They agree. Long live the CSA. We lose a lot of money, which is fine. We got, we got more than enough. We get some prestige. We get... Not bad. So we'd like to do this, but we need all core states, which includes a lot of Mexico and Jamaica, I believe, as well. So that's why I wanted to wait to go to war with them. So that's really important. So we need this tile. We need still Yucatan. Actually, let's look at the regional map modes. We got this area. We need Chiapas. We need Mexico. Well, eventually. Um, it's a little hard to see the region tiles in here. So we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need that. That's actually a really cool flag right there. Tarasco. They're in their sphere, which is a bad thing. If we do have to fight the UK, we just got bullies back anyways, which is great for us, but we need these two tiles. We have to get those two tiles, but we need Jamaica. As we, as you do see, we have a core on there. Uh, do we have a core on here as well? No, we do not, which is interesting to see. So I'd rather take the, these two tiles. I don't want to have to fight. Yeah, we'll have to go to war with them anyways. If we go to war with the Brits first, oh, we can lower their, our relations with, with them. They're third. They're actually below us. No, yeah, they're a little bit above us for now. They have a lot of capital ships. The gold of the Inca. The discovery of Machu Picchu has generated newly interest, new interest in affairs considering archaeological expedition in the Andes Mountains. The legendary tales of hidden cities, vast gold treasures, and valuable artifacts are only an illusion, and a never ever X never ever marks the spot. However, prominent archaeologists advise that it could be international interest to examine the things in the Andes carefully. Interesting. All right, so we could go to war with them and acquire our core on the Caribbean islands. That is extremely important, and if we do that, they won't necessarily call in Mexico, so here's the plan. The next episode, we will begin going to war with the Brits. We have to beat them up and take their territory of at least, you know, the Caribbean islands, which means our navy's got to be top-notch. I mean, our ship's not too bad. We don't have dreadnoughts yet, which is, I think, a mistake. We can't quite build those, but we can build subs. Nice. But, so we'll go to war with them in the next episode, and then we'll take out Mexico once that war is over just because we can and it helps lower our infamy too so i guess we'll end this episode here if you enjoyed me taking out canada leave a like if you enjoyed me taking out the united states of america leave a like if you want to uh see us in the next episode taking out the uk well you'll have to wait till the next episode but if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow when we go to war with a european power and then some more mexicans thanks for watching have a great rest of your day